Hey, it's Sebastian from SkyComp, and today I'm going to show you how to take a recorded meeting and trim the top and tail of it to make it shorter and look more professional. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a Teams meeting going so I can get a recording. So I'm going to call my friend on the other computer in the, uh, in the studio here. We're just going to start a video call and you'll hear that going. We're just going to mute it so we don't have feedback. And we're going to answer that call on this side. Perfect. And now I'm not going to go over too much in detail about um, starting a, a meeting recording. Um, I'm just going to quickly do that. So now that I've started the meeting recording, um, we're just going to let that roll for a minute and give us something to edit. So usually when you read a meeting, there's going to be a point where someone's going to say, I've started the recording now. Now we can discuss what we need to discuss that needs to be recorded. You can discuss the information or have the meeting that you want to be recorded. And then someone at the end of the meeting usually says, okay, we're done. We've said all we need to say, and now I'm going to stop the recording. So what we're going to do and what I'm going to show you in this video, is how to chop those sections, those unwanted parts of the audio and video out. And it's a very simple, I have a very simple way of doing that. So we're still rolling on this meeting. So now we're going to say, let's cut the meeting here. We can go to stop recording, stop recording. Great. And it says the recording is being saved. The recording is stopped. You can find the link to the recording in the meeting chat history. So we're done the meeting. I'm going to leave. So right now you can see on my screen, it says that uh, the record is stopped and we're saving the recording to the Microsoft stream uh, servers. While we're waiting for that to happen, I can open up um, the video editing software that you're going to be using. Um, so video software comes in all different shapes and sizes and realms. You can get it um, from the Adobe Creative Suite. You can get DaVinci Resolve, Avid Media Composer. There's tons of different options out there. Um, but for today's purposes, and for what you probably want to use, because you clicked on this video, you probably want to use free software. Windows Movie Maker usually came installed on most uh, Windows 10 PCs, um, but they've discontinued that in 2012. Um, so now they have something built into the photo editor of Windows. Um, so you can search that. Um, it's just called Video Editor. It's very straightforward. But you can type in video, and it's usually the first thing that pops up. Once you open that, you can see uh, you can see your other video projects. I did a uh, an older project using uh, Surge as an example, um, but we're going to start a new video project. You can just hit the plus there, and you're going to see you have a whole bunch of options, and it already asks you to label uh, your video. So we're going to call this meeting because that's what we were in. This video editor is very, very simplified. It doesn't have many options at Premiere Pro or any other, you know, bigger box kind of video editing software would have. It's definitely not for professional films or use, but if you just need to chop up a quick meeting that you had, this works just as good. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you and dive into kind of the different aspects of the software and the things you can do with it. Um, first, you have your project library, um, and that's basically where your footage is going to go. The next thing is on the bottom, it's, they call it a storyboard. Usually in video editing software, it's known as a timeline. Um, but Windows is being fancy. I like that. Storyboard's cool. Um, so you can drag your footage from your project li library once it's imported into your storyboard. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And, and you'll see that you have uh, the option to add a title card. So if you need to add a title to your video, you could do that very easily. Uh, you could add background music, custom audio. The possibilities are really endless with this. It's pretty great software for free and coming with Windows. So hopefully, yes, perfect. Our call has been recorded. So it's all ready to go. And we're going to hit the three dots on this call and open in Microsoft Stream. And we did a video on, on how to do this in our main kind of a Teams tutorial. Um, and you can click on our playlists at the end of this video. I'll give you a link to that. But for now, 
we're just going to download uh, this clip. So you can go to the three dots, hit download the video, and that's going to download to your computer. These files are MP4 files, so it contains video and audio, and they're not super huge files. You'll see if you're maybe working on with Apple products or other different products, you'll see that um, MOVs or, or different file types, and they tend to be larger. MP4 is a, is a smaller codec, so it's going to be a little bit of a smaller file for, for you, which is what we want. So once that's downloaded, what's good to do is to find a spot kind of on your computer. Uh, maybe it's the videos folder, maybe it's the documents folder, but just create um, a folder. I'm just going to go new folder, and we're just going to call this meeting video project. So it's just so you know where you're saving things to, and if you had other audio files you wanted to lay in there, just put it all in the same folder so it's all in the same place. Microsoft Teams actually labels the call, so if you just had a call with one person and that was recorded, um, it's going to put their name in so you know exactly what file you're clicking on and downloading. So I'm going to copy that and do videos and to go to meeting project. I'm just going to paste that in really quick. Now we have two copies of it. If the other, if it gets corrupted for some reason, because sometimes video files do that, we're going to have it and we're going to have an extra backup. It's always good to have backups. And then we're going to go back into our video editing software. And you'll notice it's kind of funny. It actually says photos in the top corner. It's part of the photos app. Uh, you can also edit photos in here. I can do another tutorial on that if people are interested. Um, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to add the footage to my library. So you just go up to the left of the screen in your project library and you just go to from this PC. And we don't want to go to the downloads. We want to go to the videos because I created a nice folder for it and that adds it in no problem. So you can click and drag this into your storyboard or you can just click place in storyboard. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So now it gets to a little bit of a trickier part because we can't really trim this, but over here you have trim this video clip. You also have split, add text to it, motion, but we're just gonna focus on trim for this specific tutorial. And then you have kind of like a slider bar, I guess is the best way to describe this on your uh, timeline. Um, so you can watch through and you can see that was just us a few seconds ago talking and we have the two laptops in here. So that's why it's kind of a funny angle. Um, but we're going to just trim this because I just want to go right to the meeting start and you can take your slider bar, drag it around until you find the exact right spot. I just want to make sure I just cut out that title sequence of the call joining. So yeah, I don't want to see that. So I just want to come right to here. And then to the end of the video, we'll just go a little bit more. Okay, so I'm ending the video clip about there and I'm looking down at the screen. So we want to end it just before that. Perfect. It gives you the clip length, the edit, what you're trimming. So you can see the actual amount of time you're going to be exporting. And we can just hit done. So that trimmed it for us, but that didn't export it as a file for us. It just trimmed it. So what you have to do is if you wanted to, you could change different effects on here. We don't really want to focus on that because we're just, again, trimming the video to send out. Uh, and if you add effects and audio and different things, it can make the file pretty big and uh, you won't be able to just email that off or share that with, uh, with someone. So we're just going to hit in the top right hand corner, the export and sh a shareable video file on finished video. You can choose different resolutions. Resolution is a, is a tough topic with this because if you want to share it on email, you want the lowest resolution possible. But in today's day and age of video and photo and you want the best quality and people want to be able to hear you and see you. Um, so it's good to just go with higher quality and at 1080p. Um, you don't really want to go much more than that. This software doesn't allow you to. Um, you could knock it down a little bit lower if it's a longer video to 720 and you wouldn't lose that much quality. But if you go lower to 540, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty low resolution. It's going to be pretty pixelated. Um, so you want to stick with 1080 
or 720. Those are both good resolutions to send over email. So we're gonna stick with the top because we like high quality. You can go to more options. Hardware accelerated encoding is just making the export faster. If you have time, you can uncheck that box and let it just take its time. But we're, because we're in a tutorial and we wanna get this tutorial out to you guys, we're just gonna hit export using accelerated encoding. And it's gonna ask you immediately where to save this. So we have a folder created and we're just gonna save it. So you can call it something else. We're gonna call it meeting version one and export. And so you can see that doesn't take much time at all. Longer video clips will take longer. So if you plan on doing this, or you plan on trimming the video clip, allow yourself some time to trim the clip and export it out because it's gonna take a while. And it actually shows you the final version, which is great. So we can close this, we can close this, we can go to our video file, there it is, and you can just test it again, make sure it works. That was a quick tutorial on how to trim a video that is from Teams, from a Teams recording. You can do this if you're not working with Teams. Most uh, video call, video conference softwares come with the ability to record and they save that recording to the cloud that becomes downloadable and you can edit that clip. Um, so if you're interested in doing that with different softwares like WebEx or Zoom, that is a possibility. If you'd like to watch more videos about Microsoft Teams, you can click right here. If you'd like to watch more videos about solving technology, you can click over here. And of course, if you like our videos, you like what we're doing here, you can hit the subscribe button right over here, 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 there it is. Thanks for watching.